insyaallah okey assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi a'udzu billahi minasyaitonir rajim bismillahirrahmanirrahim assalatu wassalamu ala asyrafil anbiya'i wal mursalin muhammadin sallallahu alaihi wasallam um you 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 see what's happening right and the Morocco, yeah, in Libya, yeah, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them mercy, yeah, and elevate them, yeah, uh, for, for their patience, yeah, and the state in the hereafter, status in the hereafter, yeah. Now, what I want, okay, what are the things that you heard that considered shirk in, on TV, that they say? Best of all. No, they didn't say best of luck. No, no. In, in, in when they in, they interview the uh, people in um, Morocco, what are the things, uh, Osama? Yeah, like you. <laughs> they didn't say that. No, they didn't say that. When they interview them, what did they say? Yes. That good. Because I want to know whether you understood what is shirk. Shirk doesn't just mean that you worship an idol. I just mean to we just go to the grave, right? What did they say that constitutes shirk? Sorry? Yes, on TV. Sorry? Fighting. Thank you. Almost there, but there's another thing. Sorry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but another thing that they asked. They were they were asking each other. They were asking the, the the TV crew, where is the international help? Where is international help? Now this is quite important to understand this, right? As I said, shirk is not just a constitute about okay, I'm going to worship Jesus, the Son of God, and there's a shirk. It's not just that, right? There are many shades of shirk in which we must truly really understand, right? Because at the end of the day, brothers, when all of us are saying Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin. What does it mean? Rob again, we talk about now, right? Rob means the, the provider, the one who protects, the one who guides, the one who do everything is our Rob, right? And when you question, where is the international help? You are actually undermining Allah, isn't it true? Because Allah is the one who provides and who helps. And, and it's very important that we understand about this issue about shirk in which it it is many many times it happens to many people right so for example if if you uh bora right bora so not bora bora if you are helping are you yeah for example right in terms of to reset the quran if you were to say see because of me he can reset reset the quran it is a form of shirk you have to be careful right because you are praising yourself as the one who helps somebody. Whereas it, it must be completely from Allah. You are just a means to make it happen. Right? And this is quite important that we understand the topic of shirk because a lot of people, they still don't understand about what shirk means. Yeah? Now, what did Allah say? Okay, so let, before we, 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 we go into this topic, yeah, let's discuss about this word in which all of us understand well perhaps in a superficial way about about shirk in which we must completely understand inside out because if we if you fail to do this what is the consequence brothers what is the consequence if, if we hellfire completely whether it's major or minor you will be in hellfire what was it was it was the difference between major and minor, minor shirk sorry yeah, money is, money is temporary. How, how do we know that a person who commit mana shirk will be in hellfire? Osama? Now from the hadith. Yes, really, right? What, what, what's the hadith? Yes. Yes, continue. Yes. And then what happened to them? Because, yes, seemingly, brothers, you and I know, right, when we are doing good deeds, right? That's why we know from 
the scholars give for example that the minor shirk can be so inconspicuous that it's like a black ant on a black rock on a dark night that you, you hardly have even see you cannot see this kind of showing off but it exists that we have to be very careful in it yeah especially with the with the instance of social media is it true and your social media what happened everybody will show okay i've donated i'm going to the mosque now right we are praying congregation you take pictures of the mosque right take pictures of everything right then after that i'm going to recite the quran right especially with all your twitter isn't it true right you are telling everybody what you're doing minute by minute commentary yeah and this surely may lead to shirik yeah because it's a form of showing off right well because a mana shirik an example of mana shirik is showing off right and you have to be careful yeah in this yeah so um how many muslims that we have in the world 1.8 1 1.9 billion muslims right and out of all these right you i'm surely right countries in which you think that is completely immune to shirik are one one of the worst right egypt right yes in egypt right yeah in egypt right oh, wow. they're burning the niqab yeah in egypt and all this is getting worse day by day all these muslim countries yeah um, Palestine. What's the brother? Oh, this is just that. He is from Palestine. In front of your own eyes, you can see people worshiping the shrines of the prophets. Yeah, they make shrines. Well, actually, the shrines were made by I think it was Salahuddin. I think yeah, he was the one who made just to remind the people about the prophets. But people start to worship and people start to throw coins. Yeah, at the at the at the at the, at the shrines. Yeah. So this has become very common, right? As we discussed many times, a very famous mosque in Cairo called the uh, Imam Hussein Mosque. Yeah, people are going there to to go to the grave of the Imam Hussein, which was the Prophet Sallallahu uh, grandson. Yeah, and starting to worship. Yeah. So, but this is clear shirk that all of us should understand. Yeah, um, because they have the saints or wali. Yeah, and. Um, even though we say in our Al-Fatiha, which it means you alone we worship and you alone we seek help. But many people will go to, you know, the fortune tellers, right? Is it common in Algeria, fortune tellers? Really? Simpsons, the cartoon. It's an Algerian fortune teller in Simpsons. Okay. Yeah. Where are you from? Egypt. Ah, uh, one second. Just been there, so I know it, right? You done? A lot. Yeah. And this thing is quite annoying, right? In many cultures, about black magic. You know, the seher, right? People are using this in order to get what they want, and this is, subhanallah, it is really destroying the deen because one of the worst thing in Islam is about magic, isn't it? True. I think the, was it the third or the fourth? There's the, the seven most the worst sins. Yeah, Shrik of course is the first one. Second or third, yeah, I think it's magic. Yeah, and and you, you we just have to be careful in this. And then don't be impressed if you saw the Britain Got Talent, right? Or you watch uh, Harry Potter. That's one of the worst things. Intro. Why is Harry Potter so dangerous? Glorify so, 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 so. magic, and not only that, they think that anything happens just like that, without Allah's will. And this is, subhanAllah, it's, it's really, you have to be careful if you have children, yeah, watching uh, all these or reading all these mo uh, stories about Lord of the Rings, right? Harry Potter and all this. Did you read, finish the whole thing as the intro? Seven, seven, is it seven volumes? Watch all the movies, right? Of course. Right. Sorry? Okay, yeah. Does it affect what you feel? Yeah, children, children as well. yeah. It's, it's quite bad, isn't it, true? Because it affects everything, right? So, for example, right? Some people are starting to celebrate birthdays for the kids, right? It's not uncommon. Many people start to celebrate there for the kids. In the birthday, what, what would they do? What would they say? Before you blow the candle, make a wish, isn't it, true? Make a wish to who? Do you know what I mean, right? Or when you see a shooting star, then you say, oh, 
to things done. Make a wish. So who? All right. And so we all, all this we have to be very careful when seemingly very innocent. Yeah. But it will grow to be much, much worse. Right. Again, teenagers. Uh, you are just finished teenager, is it? You're 22, 20, right? Just finish your teenager days. I'm sure in your school, everybody was talking about, oh, uh, horoscopes, isn't it true? Yeah, horoscopes. Yep, about, about Pisces and Aries and all this. Who's compatible to be my, boy, my boyfriend or girlfriend, isn't it true? Yeah. Right? And they read through all these things, uh, what's going to happen for the week. And it's, it's not uncommon. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, in my when I was younger, me, but not, but when I was a teenager, about thirty years ago, right? It's very common. Is it common now still? Yes. People are going through all this in order to find, and all this kind of complete shirk, and you have to be careful in this. Yeah. So, um, as I said before, in some villages in Muslim countries in Bangladesh, right? People will build shrines in order for them to come, and all this to in order to worship at the shrine yeah and we have to be very careful in this it's all like acts of shirk that we must avoid yeah cultural things right turkey for example has a lot of uh, evil eyes in true right to in order to protect protect yourself right they wear it on your um as a necklace yep some people wear it in asian cultures they wear a lot of um what do you call it? Tawis in order to protect themselves. Yeah. Um, Albania is quite a lot, is it true? A lot because you guys following the following the Turkish culture, is it true? Many uh, things. Because even your mosques, most of them are Turkish Turkish made, isn't it? Yeah. Turkish uh, right? So a lot of things are very full of shirk, so you have to be careful in this. Yeah. Wedding ceremonies we discussed before. Sorry, right? What about when you repeat the um like the sora or ayah yes. decoration. Yes, then but most like my culture, Omar, they put it to protect themselves. Yeah. Right? So before you enter the house, in my culture people put this <coughs> Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is to protect the house. Right? Um some people put on the car Allah right in order to protect the car. Right? And all these right seemingly in a sense, because everybody's doing it anyway. So why shouldn't I do it? And all this, because you're following the Christians, isn't it true? The Christians put across, you also want to have Allah. Right? And this is completely not allowed in Islam. So to be careful with all this kind of shirk. Afghanistan, right? We uh, talk so many times about your wedding rituals, right? Going underneath the Quran in order to get your blessings of the marriage. Uh, because my culture, for example, also like, you know, in weddings, you need to step on something to get Good luck, right? Um, you, you eat something together uh, to to as a form of good luck and all this. Sorry, it it is. Uh, Indonesian culture. What did they do? They will uh, serve the food on the first of Muharram, right? First, serve the food in the sea in order to uh, appease or off, make offerings to the guardians of the sea, right? Many things. Yes, of course. Our allegedly they claim they are Muslims. Somebody wearing hijab and all this. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's not not coming. Again, the Saturday's topic is about why do calamities occur, right? Why do you think calamities occur in general? Yeah. So it is a form of punishment in general. Is it true? Yeah. No, no, right? Because Allah has said many examples in the Quran, right? People of Ad, the nations of Ad, what was the punishment? Sorry? The, the wind, right? Yeah. yeah, how many days? Seven nights, eight days. Seven nights, eight days, Bora. If a few seconds or a few minutes of this wind, you, I'm sure you, you read a lot of news regarding America, right? They have a lot of these tornadoes, a lot of houses finished. But this is about seven nights, eight days of punishment. What did they do? People of Ad, Akram? Yes, yeah, sure, it's as simple as that. Yeah. People of Thamud, what was the punishment? A shriek. A shriek. 
Ashrik, yeah, that means in the middle of the night something happened, they just died. That is it. One one shirk and died because again of shirk. Or what? Perfect is Aad. There's a nation. There's a nation of uh, Perfect is Aad. Prophet uh, in the nations of Thamud, what is the Prophet? Saleh. Yeah. And then we call, talk about people of cheats and lies. Who are these people? Shu'aib. Uh, Prophet Shuaib and Madian, right? Are there people that are cheating like in Yemen? Tell me in front of my face. Sorry? There's not a lot. So I can just go to any market there and I won't, I, I will be not cheated at all. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, in Morocco, in uh, many places in Egypt, of course, very famous, yeah. Uh, the markets that is full of cheatings and lying. History always repeats itself, brothers, right? Did the people of the Shu'aib, Prophet Shu'aib, were they punished? Were they punished? Yes, they were punished. Yeah, so when Allah, so again, so Allah won't punish people for fun, isn't it true? There must be a reminder. So don't, and don't ever say that, oh, we are in London, we are not punished, we are good. It's not. It's a reminder for all of us. Yeah. Sometimes when I went to some places, uh, especially I always go to Indonesia and all this, right? And then when they, I saw all this um, facade and all these uh, acts of uh, evil that is happening, alcohol and you know prostitution and all this, I saw even my own eyes. I was always telling my wife something's going to happen. It did. It did happen. Earthquakes and volcanoes erupted and all this within a few months. So we have to be very careful, right? Um, LGBT, is it happening today? A lot? Yeah. Didn't Allah want us? What What was happening? To, what did happen to the people of Lut? The whole world turned upside down, isn't it true? So they were raining rocks, right? Because of the actions. And again, this is where people who are LGBT, they claim, that, oh, it's not because they are always robbing the people. Yes, it's part of the thing, but main thing is about LGBT, right? So again, we have to be very careful when we, well, some of the Muslims, even some Muslim leaders support these uh, rainbow flags. Yeah. Um, I don't know whether you have you come across these um, YouTube video in, in Indonesia about this um, transvestite mosque. Yeah. You saw it? Yeah. <laughs> my, my, my people. So in a sense that they have this more, especially for these people who are, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. transgender and all this, yeah. There's no better women's section. Well, they're, they're, I think they're confused, isn't it? Or they do not know which one, where to stand. Is it front or the back, right? But but it is happening in today's world, right? Because the Christians are doing it, right? Because they have the gay priests, right? Gay bishops. They are, yeah, they're having, they now having the female bishops and all this. Muslims also follow, right? They want, they want exactly to follow the Christians, and this is Subhanallah, right? Allah's warning in the Quran cannot be so. It must be very clear that Allah will punish those who are indulging themselves in things that Allah has forbidden us to do. Yeah. Um. So. All of this, we, we do need to understand about the term shirik. What does shirik mean? Usama? Yeah, so sharing or associating things. In Islamic terms, it means that um, you are not thanking Allah or you are not asking Him for help. You are making dua or thank somebody else or something in order to get the same reward. Yep. And this is how we understood the, uh, but how the history of shirk began. What is the history? Shaitan. Yeah, so what happened? Do you remember? Are you? Shaitan. Uh, I can't remember the details, but it was over generations. Of so, which nation? I think, well, I don't know. Early on, like descendants, but I don't know. Yeah, but niche nation. No, this, this is before. Which nation? Nuh alayhi salam. Nuh alayhi salam. That's what Nuh was sent. No, no, no. Shirik, shirik started from... That's what Nuh alayhi was sent as the first messenger. Before that, there's no shirik. As you said rightly, right? 
Shaitan came. How was the story, Usama? When Shaitan came, what happened? Okay, the, the pious people pass away. Right? So they want so they wanted to worship the grave, No, no, hold on. So 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 they they Shaitan came, right? Shaitan reminded them, Oh, the pious people have passed away. You should re remember them. So that we remember them, so you worship the Allah. Yes. So why don't you have some some uh, drawings or some paintings and you can just in, put in them in, in your in your prayer. So when you remind you see these paintings or these statues, remind and this is how Shaitan come, right? And then after that they said, right? They said, Oh, we are not going to worship them. Of course, Shaitan said, You're going to worship Allah, but just when you look at them, just press them behind you. Right? You when you worship, you worship Allah. They say you don't see them, right? So they did that. Yeah. So Shaitan, as you know, are very patient. Right? And they, he comes back the next generation. And he told the next generation, Oh, the people of the previous generation, they used to put the statues in front of them, right? So they followed, right? And then after that, next generation passed. Shaitan came back again and said, oh, these people, they, they, your previous generations, the pious ones, they used to worship Allah through these idols, right? So, but before that, there's no shirk at all. And this is the first time Allah could have destroyed them, isn't it true? But what did Allah do? Send a messenger. The first messenger was Nuh alayhi salam. Nuh was the first messenger and he was sent. Yeah. And how long did he leave Nuh alayhi salam? About 950 years. Right? But of course, not, not all the time because he grew up and all this. I think according to some narrations, about 600 years of da'wah around there. 600, 500 years of da'wah. Yep, and, and he did. Yep. And believe it or not, within 600 years, for example, right, how many people became his followers? About 80. Only 83, 85 around there. That's all. Yep. So would Allah keep us, would, would, would Allah blame Nuh salam? No, because at the end of the day, guidance from Allah. Isn't it true? Right? And therefore, subhanAllah, right? What was the punishment of Allah to all of them? Allah bring flood yes. to them. And the whole world was destroyed. Did you, you agree? Whole world. So that the population of the world finished. What was left were only the people in the, in the ark. Right? And this is how, you know, the population repopulate again. And this, this clearly shows about the fact that uh, many people have forgotten about what Allah said in the Quran, about Allah's severe punishment yeah, for those who commit shirk. And this is what punishment in this life, in the hereafter, is completely different, which we all of us must surely yeah, be careful, right? So, when talking about, so everybody, everybody understand about shirk, yeah? Now, this is just the general definition. Specific gen, uh, definitions we, that is divided into two different categories. One of them is regarding shirk as opposed to tawheed. So as we talked about, we have tawheed arububia, which means oneness of Rob. We also have shirk fil rububia. That means shirk in oneness of Rob, right? Again, we talked about oneness of Rob as in related in relation to um, what do you call it? Um, Rob as in the creator, the maintainer, sustainer, yeah, and all this. Yeah. Now, when I was small, when I was young in school, people were talking to me about Darwin's theory. Right? It's compulsory. Right? So you do have to be careful about Darwin's theory, isn't it true? What happens if you do believe in Darwin's theory? What up? Yes, kafir and a disbeliever and committing shirk, is it true? Because what is, you know, if somebody know, you know about Darwin's theory. Okay, what is Darwin's theory? Yes. Even though some of us act like apes, but we don't originate from apes. And that was Darwin's theory. It's just a theory. And, and everybody is, is forced, I don't know about in England, are you forced to accept the theory as well? 
biology and science. Yeah, but you you have to accept that as a as a truth, is it true? Yes. And and believing in that itself about all of us originate from monkeys, it makes us disbelieve that Allah can create anything, is it true? <laughs> Allah can just say kun, faya kun, be and it will be. Right? And this, subhanAllah, and this is we have to be I know a lot, quite a lot of Muslims are defending Darwin's theory. And this is how ridiculous it is that you don't understand when Allah said about Allah's first mankind on, on his creation is Adam alayhi salam. It's very clear in the Quran, isn't it true? Right? In Surah Namal in Al Baqarah, right? When Allah was telling the angels, what did Allah tell the angels? So number two verse number 30. Yeah, when Allah was announcing to the angels, I'm going to create in the world a successor. Successor means? That means there is success. When, when, so for example. Yeah, so for example. like, like That means that there was a, another creation, isn't it true? Right before, which we know for many generations, it was it was there were the jinn who was populating the air. Right? So when Allah announced to the angels, "I'm going to create a successor," the the, the angels were very shocked. What did the angels ask? Ask Allah? Uh, they may, maybe they make something in the world like facade. Yes. Are you going to create some creations who will only disobey you? Yeah. Who will only create bloodshed? When we are always. We are always worshipping you and, and, and we are always glorifying you. Yeah. So uh, now the angels are, even though they have the ability to voice their opinions, but eventually they will follow. They have no option. They do not have a free will like you and me. Agreed? But they can offer suggestions, right? So, so when Ibrahim salam was thrown in the fire, Jibril came. What did Jibril ask? Do you need any help? <laughs> as simple as that. He said no. Right? He only wants help from Allah. Right? Um, when Muhammad وسلم, right, was being thrown by stones right, in Ta'if by the children, yeah, Jibril وسلم, came and wanted, offered to destroy them. Offered. Right? And he said no. Right, so the, the angels are able to offer help on their own initiative. Right, when Yusuf salam, yeah, was thrown in the well, what happened? Uh, yeah. Jibril, the hand, because if you see the well, you will not survive 100%, isn't it true? 100%. The well is so deep and so so tall, the height. You, you, you can imagine you wouldn't fall directly. You hit, tuk, 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 you hit your head, isn't it true? And this is how it is. Yeah? So the angels. Are, so when when Allah asked the angel, told the angels that He was about to create a successor on the earth, the angels were of course very shocked. They expressed the opinion of how can you want a, a, a creations that you will only disobey you, which is not untrue, isn't it true? Today, many people have disobeyed Allah, agreed? Many people have disobeyed Allah. Out of about 8.9 billion people on the earth, only 1.9 billion are Muslims, are submitting to Allah. Out of 1.9 billion Muslims, how many are praying five times a day? Less than 10%, perhaps. Right? And this is how we have been so ungrateful to Allah. Yeah, when all said, وَآتَكُمْ مِنْ كُلِّ مَا سَأَلْتُمُ وَإِنْ تَعُودُ نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْسُوهَا إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَا ذَوْلُ مُنْ كَفَرْ He gave you all that you ask of him, and if you were to, to count the blessings of Allah, you will never count them. And mankind is, is often um, a wrongdoer, ungrateful to Allah. Yeah? Um, Yasin, are you grateful or ungrateful to Allah? Grateful. That means we have never missed any praise at all. Yeah, because in, because in the sense that if you are grateful to Allah, I'm not, I'm not saying about you, everybody have this 
well disobeyed Allah in many ways, isn't it true? Yeah. And it's important that we analyze ourselves. Are we created to be grateful or ungrateful? What do you think, Farouk? Sorry? Yeah, but in general, we have a soul that is ungrateful to Allah. Agreed? That's always disobedient to Allah. What did your, you know, your, sorry, your, what did the Jewish faith believe? Are we always, the human beings, are we created to be submissive or we are ungrateful? Sorry? It's crazy, isn't it? Sure. Okay. But all of us from the Quran, we know we are the slaves of Allah. Slave. Slave is as it is. Yeah. We have no choice but to obey Allah in everything, right? Right? We are not <coughs> because Allah as our creator has the right to do anything that He wishes, right? In fact, He is so merciful that our prayer was reduced from fifty to five, isn't it true? Right? We are so he's so <laughs> merciful that even when we are traveling, yeah, there are exemptions, right? That we can shorten the prayers, isn't it true? Not just shorten, we can even combine the prayers. When we are traveling, we, we don't even need to fast, right? Because it is there uh, in the Quran, yeah. One, one of the things that are exempted, well, exempted for fasting, one of them is a traveler. Yeah. So many, many things that Allah is so merciful to us and that we shall, must really be grateful to Allah. The thing that we must truly be grateful to Allah is Islam. Dritan, remember the Jahiliyyah days. Can you imagine to going back to that days? It's horrible, isn't it? Right? The days that we are we we were not practicing, right? And this is the thing in which Alhamdulillah Allah has guided all of us to this mosque, right? To do our prayer. Yeah. Sorry. Going to yes. Going to yes. Yeah. Our... Yeah. So, so these are the things in which we we must really seek knowledge on how to be grateful to Allah, right? One of the best ways to be grateful to Allah is, of course, to make make sure we understand Tawhid and we avoid shirk. Yeah. So this one, as I said just now, shirk fil shirk fil uh, rububia, yeah, which means shirk in oneness of rob, which all of us must truly understand this is committed by many many muslims even agreed right uh, saudi arabia itself right now they are so open right they are selling things in the uh, women's section and it's all this on youtube right um they are selling things in which there is a they sell these bangles and chains with all lost names and all this when you ask them it would, they, they ask the, the disbelief ask them, why do you have this? And they say, oh, this is to protect ourselves, right? And this is Saudi Arabia, the land that Prophet Muhammad Wasallam has completely banished shirk. It's coming back again, isn't it true? Right? Um, in terms of now with the celeb, it's, it's, it's unbelievable when we see the concerts, how people with wearing their thobes and all this yeah, are completely dancing, right? And people wearing hijab also also dancing and men and women. How can it be the land where Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu was working so hard yeah, in order to banish all these things is coming back again in full force. Yeah. So you have to be very careful. The Chinese, as you know, believe in the lucky number that uh, lucky number is number eight. Agreed? Right? And the unlucky number is in the fall, it's in the fall and... Why fall? No, in general, it's 13, isn't it true? Even some Muslim countries, believe it or not, they don't have a 13th floor. Yeah. So from 11, 12, 14. Sorry? Oh yeah? Why, why fall? Oh, you're all right. Which culture is it? I didn't know that. Thanks for the knowledge. Why four? Okay, but thirteen definitely, right? In some countries, they, they forget. So this is this is in regard regarding with shirk, feel rububiyah, isn't true? In terms of everything happens only upon Allah's will, right? 
So we talk about the Chinese again, right? About the, the year of the dragons. It's very lucky for them. They have a lot of children, right? Some years are very unlucky, right? So they don't have children. Yeah. So everything based on yin and yang, which means balance. positive, yeah, positive and negative force are balanced. Um, and, and they need to put the staircase here, they need to put the mirrors there, and all this to reflect about this balance. And the worst thing, some Muslims are actually taking taking part in this shirk in order to be very cool and accepted in society. And you have to be very careful in this. Yeah, this is, what right? about uh, yoga and the Hindus? Yeah, so again, this is depends on, I mean, for me personally, it's completely not allowed because it has to do with a lot of Hindu cultures, isn't it? The yoga, yeah. Uh, um, yeah, okay, I didn't know that, okay. Okay. Did you read about it? Oh, it's my Allah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brother, Brother Tariq is uh, from America, right? How, how long you become a revert? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. So, so this is called Shrek Phil Probobia. Yeah, which you have to be very careful. For the Chinese, the lucky color is? Red. For the Muslims, lucky color is? Yeah, some people say green. But actually green is actually what Prophet Muhammad some likes also green. So but make sure your your intention is because what you want to follow Prophet Muhammad, not because it's a lucky color. Because all the based on intention, is it true? Right? <laughs> <coughs> no, you cannot believe in that. When when you believe in Feng Shui, that means you believe it's good luck. Hundred percent, right? Which brings me to the topic. A lot of people will say, "Good luck for your exam," is it true? Or, "I'm so lucky, I'm in the mosque," right? And all this word "luck" or "fortunately," you have to be careful fingers because crossed. our fingers crossed, especially. Yeah, I've you seen some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so there, are, there are words that you uh, may lead to shirk. You have to be very, very careful, brothers. Yeah. Because especially when 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 you say about good luck, yeah, that means other than Allah, something may make things happen, which is impossible, right? So you, even though your brothers, it's very important to understand this, right? Even if you're talking to non-Muslims, it doesn't matter, right? You do need to say when things happen. For example, like I told you many times, of my but I'm a solicitor. Whenever things positive happens, I always say. Thank God you got your visa and all that. So I never say, oh, okay, it's me. You know, I did it for you, right? Which is a lot of people are doing this, right? If, if you build a mosque, you will say, oh, this mosque is built by me, you know, right? My name is there, right? And that is quite common, isn't it? People do it, and that is a month of shirk. You have to be careful because the mosque is built from all, with all, Allah. You are just a means to make it happen, right? And this is, you have to think very carefully what you say and what you do because it may lead to shirk, right? Um, in terms of providing you with income, some people say that if I don't work, right, then who's going to feed my family, right? So you start to work in things that may be haram and all this, and that may amount to uh, uh, lead to shirk, isn't it true? Do you agree? Yeah, because it is Allah who provides, yeah, not you. Yeah. So these are the things, and, and you may lose that trust in Allah because you think, oh, how, how will Allah will provide? It's okay, I just work, you work in this place, right? Until I find somebody, some, some other work. If you do this, what makes you sure that you're going to live another night and you die in a state of sins? Yeah, so you have to be careful when you come, and because shirk is a huge thing. Any one of us who die in a, in a state of shirk, whether it's major or minor, will be in hellfire. Yeah, this is whether whether you're going to come out of hellfire or not. Yep. Yeah. Any questions? Is called shirk fil rububia. Yes. You said I think you said Al Baqarah verse thirty refutes Darwinism. You say yes. But I can't really. I'm looking at it now. I can't really. I don't think it says explicitly. And that's no, maybe it's in the tafsir. I think. No, because Allah is going to. Who who is the first? Who is Allah referring to? Who is all referring to when he says Allah is going to to create a successor? Who's the first one? 
Because not just 30, all these other verses becomes oh, with the creations of Allah. Sorry? No, no, the, the Adam as a successor. Yeah. Oh, my whole question. I saw some people that uh, are critiquing the uh, shape that I was reading about. In the moment of the Ibn Abdul Wahab, they say yes. that the actual shape that Adam is actually. Shape the Adam? No, I don't think he said that. I don't think he said that. Very unlikely. Of all the people, he's one of the people who really follow the uh, understand Tawheed. Yeah, perhaps he may be misunderstood what he said or must be taken out of context. Okay. Now, any questions about this, brothers? Yes. I would say, Alhamdulillah, I made this. Because I attribute to Allah first, isn't it true? Right? Yeah, of course, because I'm, I, I, what do you call it? Because I'm a solicitor, for example. When I, somebody asked me, did you, were you the one to allow, uh, make the visa happening to this person, successful? I said, yeah, Alhamdulillah, it's me. So I put Allah first. Right? instead of me first and it's quite important to to understand this because if not subhanallah right you are committing shirk if you think that you are the one who is responsible for and rather anything that happens it's all from allah agreed everything is from allah none is from us yeah okay. yes yes i put just mashallah on the door is that okay was it was the intention and so like you know mashallah just you see the house is nice Allah. yes it's look like nice yeah you put in mashallah well we have proper protection right yeah no no just so you know it's so it's so yes. thing is nice and i i i, but, I want my name on yes but let, let's come back to what akram said right he's saying mashallah is will prevent dying no, this is all a rumor that you heard from others. Agreed? Rather than say, mashallah, you should say, Allah mabarik, is it true? Or tabarakallah. That means you're asking Allah to bless the things. Right? So do be careful what you extract from things. Right? But if you put that just to remind yourself of Allah, alhamdulillah. Yeah. Right? And if, if it's for bad eyes, then it's not. It's not. It's, it's yeah. that, that's not the hadith. So it's, it's about the hadith. It's intention, all about intention, right? Again, a lot of people will put ayatul kursi, is it true? Ayatul kursi in order to protect the house. Your indigenous culture, is it true? Yes, yours and mine, the same culture, all right? All right, and this is not allowed, all right? If it is to remind yourself, alhamdulillah, it's, it's okay, all right? So, so, and if you, you have the nothing names of Allah, or right, in order to protect the house, it doesn't, it doesn't work, it's shirik. You have to be careful in this. Yep, yes, yes, in. Patriotic as in, yes, you have to be careful, even this is we call democracy, it's oh, I want to, the, the democracy itself because it's the law of the, the people, right, including LGBT rights and all this, right, and you have to be careful because we are only stand by the Sharia law, yeah, and you have to be careful in this, okay, okay, now the next, sorry, yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 I think it's just a bad habit. People are saying this in order to well to to show that. Yeah. Yeah. Because because and if, if I say something wrong, it's from me. I may have misquoted the hadith and Quran, and it's from me. This is just they're trying to say, but it might be misinterpreted in the wrong way. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yes, yes, yeah. Might be, yes, misconstrued this, this statement, yeah. Now, the next one, shirk fil as sama wa sifat. Right? What does it mean? Shirk, as sama wa sifat means names and attributes, right? What does it mean? So, the Christians, who, who were you Christian before? Uh, my family were Christian, like, not practicing. Did you read the Bible before? I read it in school, like, school. So because the Christians believe that Allah will rest after six days of creation yeah. of the heavens, right? So, yeah. this itself is from a shirk, sorry? 
Ah, Jewish. No, no, no. I don't know. He, 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 he was a former. All, all in rest. I saw the last chapter. Yeah, I was like, I believe that Allah. Yeah. Who is this? Your people, right? Yeah. 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 Because anyway, more, most of them are either invented or they change the whole uh, Torah, isn't it true? And the Bible itself is not an angel, so you have to be careful in this. Yeah, Surely Allah will never mention in the original angel that Allah rested. He will never, because what, whatever things we learn about Allah will be the same from Adam and Islam until now. Right? It's all about submission to Allah. In fact, we are not, you and I know Islam existed ever since Adam and Islam, isn't it true? The fact that Adam and Islam and Iblis, both of them, did not submit to Allah, right? They got the consequences. What the, was the consequences of Adam's disobedience? And he, he lost four things. Sorry? Oh, this is another story. But my question was, yeah? Because Adam alayhi salam was living in paradise, isn't true? Right? He got everything. Right, but what 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 did he lose when he just think that he is okay to disobey Allah? What did he lose? We discussed. Yeah, so he became naked. Secondly, he was promised by Allah in paradise you won't feel thirsty, you won't feel hungry, and you will not feel hot. Once he was sent to the earth, Subhanallah, Hawa was in Saudi Arabia, as you know, fifty degrees at least, right? Another one was in India or in some, some Asian countries, right? So, so he lost everything, isn't it true? Just for, by one disobedience. Iblis is the worst, right? Because Iblis be, became what? Eternally cursed by Allah, la'nat of Allah, right? So eventually, right, Iblis, will he get Allah's mercy? No, he will be in hellfire forever, yeah? So we have to be careful with this shirk. In terms of asama wa sifat, names and attributes, because some people attribute um, Allah to a human being. Agreed? Oh, he's everywhere, right? Underneath the sun, in my bag, and all that. Allah cannot be in His creation. He's too majestic to be in His creation. He's above the seven heavens on His throne. Agreed? Yep. And all of us must understand this about Allah. For any one of us, this belief in this, we have committed a shirk in the terms of his sama as sama was sifat in names and attributes of Allah. Yeah. Um, any questions regarding this? Yeah. So, so two cool things. Nakedness, clothes, and the clothes is naked the same as intro. So thirsty, hungry, and shade. Surah is uh, with Usama 20 is intro. The last few verses 118 something, you yeah, are on there. Yeah, okay. So, this is important to understand Allah's attributes, right? And as, as part of our tawhid, yeah, we must truly understand about Allah's names. Agreed, right? Because if you don't understand, then for example, when you are um, alone, nobody's watching you, right? You go to Soho, is it true? Sorry, okay. Yes. Do you know for example in Surah Asma Sifat, if someone has a name of Allah but they don't include Abdul, is that not? You 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 can put you brother brother was asking about names of Allah, right? Without putting the word Abdul, right? What you cannot put is you cannot put Al. Yeah. yeah Al Al something, right? Al Rahman you cannot put, right? You can you can put Rahman. As, as a name on his own, yeah. but it's better to put Abdul Rahman, is it true? Yeah. The slave of all. Yes, it's much better. Yeah. Um, sorry, what was the question? Anybody? Yes. Oh, wait, sorry for that. Yeah, I was talking about Soho, is it true? Right? <laughs> no, in the sense that, you know, oh, nobody's looking, right? So let's go to these places and the places. SubhanAllah. What does Allah's name relation to this? Al Alim, the All Knower. Right? 
Al-Khabir, the all aware, right? Um, Al-Basir, the all seer. As-Sami'a, the all hearer. Yeah? And all of us must understand this, because if you don't understand this, you think they can get away with everything. Right? In fact, you can get never get away with anything. Allah knows everything that we do, agreed? Yeah? And this, when we know this, we will be more careful yeah, about what we do and what we say and all this. Yeah? Questions? Sorry, yes, you could ask something now. Sorry? I didn't say that at all. What did I say? And? Yeah, of course. All right? Because Allah's anger is is very different because it well you mentioned mainly due to hellfire, isn't it true? Yeah, but also at the same time, if we repent to Allah, completely different. Because when you're angry, sometimes you completely cut off the person, isn't it true? Perhaps, yeah. But Allah is, is never like that. Yeah, because once we fulfill the conditions of the for, uh, forgiveness of Allah, yeah, we will, inshallah, get His um, forgiveness. Yeah, what are the three conditions again? Sincerity. That you be regretful that we did and don't do it again. Intention. Yeah, and very important that we must fulfill these conditions. And if you fulfill these conditions, will we be forgiven? Yes. You must be confident that he will forgive us. Agreed? Because Tawheed again. As Sama Wasifat, his names are Rahman and Rahim. How can you, you oh, I'm doubtful because I have people who say, How can Allah forgive me? I had this, I had this, I had this. How can Allah forgive me? And that itself is a form of shirk, isn't it true? That you don't believe his names. Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim, At Tawab, and all this. Yeah? Even the Quran, Allah said about how he forgives all sins, isn't it true? Say, Muslims who transgress against themselves, do not dispel the mercy of Allah, for Allah forgive all sins. He is often forgiving the most merciful. 39.53. Yeah? And which, which all of us must be assured, yeah? that no matter how horrible we are to Allah, even with committing shirk, but if we ask Allah for forgiveness, He will forgive our sins. So don't underestimate Allah's mercy. At the same time, don't underestimate Allah's anger. Right? If He's angry with us, right? That means that's it. We don't have any mercy. For example, who was Allah angry with until today? Who was Allah angry with? Sorry? No, no. Yeah, but. Other than that, worse, shaitan, isn't it true? Iblis and all the descendants under the day. Yes, when we say, what does it mean? So we ask Allah for, for guidance. Seek us, guide us in the right way. The way of those whom you have bestowed your favors. Who did Allah bestow his favors to? I don't know. No. It's a quiz question. That's why you fail a quiz question. Is it true? The picnic. Prophets. The, the truthfulness. Yeah. The, the martyrs and the righteous ones. Which surah is this? 469. Right? 469. Yeah. And, and we must know. Because surely we want to know who did all of these favors. Isn't it true? It's not just any Muslims. You cannot call yourself a Muhammad and you are, you are, you are in Soho. Is it true? This Okay. Um, okay, so, and then, not the part that has earned your anger. Who is the people? The Bani Israel. I was angry with them, right? Not you, of course. You're, you're better now, Alhamdulillah. The Bani Israel, why, did, why is Allah angry with them? Yes, one of the one of the things besides many many other things. They even want they killed pro prophets. Sorry, you say Samina wa Saina. Yeah, I wish you the calf. What are the things? They killed Ambiya prophets. They yes, the, yes. The yeah, they wanted to kill Isa alayhi salam. Is it true? And they did kill some prophets. Yeah. Other than that, yes. 
But but even before that, they wanted to see Allah, isn't it true? Yes. Why did they want to see Allah? Allah can No, but in the, in the that happened at the mountain, right? When when yeah. Musa and Salam came came down with the uh, Torah, isn't it true? The the, the the Ten Commandments. Yeah. Why did they want? To, why did they? Why did they want to see Allah? Because they have got doubt about. The yeah, because they don't believe in the. the, 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 the how can you just go up and come back with this thing, right? Yeah. Where's Allah? Yeah, they they don't believe and they say you are lying. Yes. Yeah. And what did happen to them? Yeah, all of them died. Isn't it true? Yes, died. And then, and then what happened? How, gonna, how, how am I going to explain to the people? Because these are the best people that select. This is the equivalent to your Abu Bakr, uh, Umar, uh, Uthman, and all this. Yeah, yeah. Alive, yeah. Yes, them, yeah because through Allah's mercy. Yeah, there is a God there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, so it is it is important to understand who is all, Allah angry with, which is, is the Ban Israel, the Jews. And who did Allah led astray? The Christians, right? This is in the Hadith, right? So no need to no need to be shy about it. It's the authentic hadith when we say غير المغضوب عليه ولا الضالين, right? Uh, the, the those who led uh, whom Allah whom Allah was angry with was the children of Israel, right? Those who Allah was uh, what do you call it uh, led astray was the Christians, yeah, the Jews and the Christians, yeah? which we must understand. Why did Allah? Why was they called people whom Allah led astray? Yes, precisely, right? Because Isa al -Islam, in many verses of the Quran, never said his. In fact, when he was in the cradle, right? He's one of the few people who was speaking in the cradle. He said, oh, I'm just messenger of God, right? And everybody knew about this then, and they still disbelieve. Yeah? So this is Shirk as wa Sifat. The next last one is Shirk Fil Uluhiya. Oneness of Shirk in oneness of worship, in which many, many cultures, right? They worship the saints, right? They worship the graves. They worship people. Yeah. So you have to be careful, including some sports in which you have to bow down, right? You have to be careful in this. Even that's why I'm not. A, I can't be a barista because I have to bow down to the judge, right? So I choose to be a solicitor because then I I I do not have to bow down because. But if you don't bow down to the judge, then because you have to know, right, in, in cases in court and all this, it's quite biased. It, they, they see who you are and all this. So if you don't follow the protocol, you might not be in the favorite book and you might suffer, your case might suffer. I don't want to be in this position. I have to choose, right? So brothers, right, in terms of acts of worship, do be careful, right, when you go and decorate your graveyards, right? A lot of people are being so... Um, careless about this, right? About putting, uh, competing with each other to build who has the better graveyards, right? In some of the mosques, as you know, some countries, they put some of the so-called pious people in the mosque. They need to be buried in the mosque because the Christians buried the, the, the famous people in the church. You also want to bury in the mosque, which is completely not allowed, right? Why was Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu grave in the mosque? Because that's where he died. Yeah, because he died there. He must be buried in a place where he, the prophets, when they die, they will be buried in a place that they die. So he was he passed away in the house, which was just very, very close to the mosque. So when they expanded, he got no choice but to be. So it's not part of their intention to do this because the whole. Have you been to Umrah before? Yeah. You have, yeah. So if you read the history, the whole of the Nabawi, that, 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 that is the whole city. Yes. All right. Okay, so this is called Shirk Fil uh, Uluhiyah, so we, we do need to protect ourselves yeah, uh, from over-exaggerating. I remember sawing, seeing, see, sawing, seeing in the, on the YouTube one of the Prophet Sallallahu uh, well, so-called descendants, went to Malaysia. Everybody was like worshipping him, Habib right? Habib. Sorry? Habib, Habib. Yeah, Habib. you know, right? You heard what he said? I said, Subhanallah, so, right? The way they treat him is just like a celebrity and they worship him and all this. They kiss his hands and they do everything. And the worst part, I don't know whether he heard his recitation. It's horrible recitations. How can it be? Right? The descendants of Prophet Muhammad have the kind of recitation. Right? Um, so, 
do be careful when you treat uh, the biased people, right? Make sure you don't exaggerate in terms of the uh, the way you handle them. Okay, questions? Yes. I hate to say this. That's how you know what happens in Morocco now, isn't it? Right? right? That's how, yeah, Indonesia, I, I told everybody when I went to Lombok, right? Lombok is an, an island with 1,000 mosques. But you saw everything except the truth or the rightest ones that you saw. But we saw alcohols, we saw people wearing bikinis and all this. And I was telling my wife, you know, something's going to happen. Rightly so, three, four months later, huge earthquake destroyed everything. Right? So again, we have to be careful yeah, about um, how we lead our lives. Yeah, I'm not surprised that having the happened in Marrakesh. It's one of the worst places. LGBT is all there, right? Um, they have, they got a, a, a special place, a cinema, especially for these LGBT people to go and do their business there. Sorry, sorry, I don't know. No, I'm sure you know. Where is it? <laughs> Asin or no? Asin? No. <laughs> okay. Now, so this is the cat three categories of uh, shirik. Yeah, in what, what's the first one? Shirik fil rububia. Next one, shirik fil asam wasifat, and shirik fil uluhia. The three ones. Shirik also divided into major and minor shirik. Right? We discussed before the difference between them is that yeah, one will be forgiven with Allah's will, but that is after you are yeah, roasted in hellfire. Uh, it's, it's not, but this is what, you know, right, um, Farouk, your people, right, they say, it's in the Quran, so it's from, I'm sure it's true, right, they say that they are going to be in hellfire only for a few days, but is it in, in the book that you know, in, but the Jews, so they don't use hellfire. It's hard to love from believing. Everybody quit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But all, all I'm saying, because what Allah said in the Quran is, is this true? Isn't it true? Yeah. So the children of Israel say that we are only going to be in hellfire for a few days. So my Prophet Muhammad address it. So who is going to replace you? What was the answer? You guys, the Muslims. <laughs> that's, what, that's what he say, isn't it? Tafsir ibn Kathir, right? Um, so this is this is what they, they believe. Subhanallah, but those who commit shirk, surely, right, if they die in that state, yeah, they will be, especially the major shirk, you'll right, be in hellfire forever. Minor shirk are only in hellfire for until Allah grant His mercy. Yeah. Another difference is also regarding a person who commit major shirk will have to take his shahada again. Right? Whereas Malay Sharik, we continue showing off all your TikTok pages. Right? Yasin? No, no. My question. So your, your TikTok pages showing so off and all this. Take you out no, you do, not, you do not need to read Inshallah. You just need to make some dua and ask Allah for forgiveness. Inshallah. Yeah? Okay? So, so this is major and minor sins. Any questions? Yes. According, well, now this is what the scholars say, right? It is to a certain extent. There's a big but. What is a big but? If you don't vote and the one who is in power is against Islam, then you'll be in trouble. Is it true? You agree, right? Because it might be some right wing people and all this. This is what some, I'm just quoting to you what, what some scholars said. Yeah. So, but, but if, if this is if we don't vote, then the one who's in power is completely right wing against them. Then you have to blame yourself. Isn't it true? You agree, in a sense. Of course, it's from Allah's will. Of course, we understand, right? But we still need to tie the camel. Isn't it true? Agree? Yeah. So, this is what the scholar said to answer your question. Okay. Yes, yeah, seen this question. Just in case. 
Major Sharik is Major Sharik. It's quite easy to understand. But you are saying think Shahada or Tashahud is neutral. No, when you do your Tashahud, you say Ashadu Allah, Ilaha Illallah, Shadu Anna Muhammad, then Abdul Rasul is neutral. Is this your Tashahud anyway? Right? Sorry? Yeah, you see, we do. Yes. But the problem is Usama. People just saying it without knowing the meaning. Is it true? That's why the. What, what is the reward, uh, Tariq? Do you know? When you, after your wudu, when you see your dua, Ashadu Allah, Ilaha Illallah, Wa Hatahu, La Sharika, Wa Ashadu Anna Muhammad, Abdul Rasul. What is the reward? No, but I'm thinking after you do your wudu. No, no, but we say this dua. Ashadu Allah, Ilaha Illallah, Wa Hatahu, La Sharika, Wa Ashadu Anna Muhammad, Abdul Rasul. What is the reward? Do you know? Yeah, same as the reward. Bora? No, Sama. No. There, there is, of course, when you do your wudu, your water comes out. Yes, the sins are coming up. But this is an even bigger reward. What is it? Yes, the eight gates of Jannah. Jannah, how many gates? This hellfire. You want to go there, right? <laughs> eight in, in, in paradise, the eight gates. One is for jihad, one is for a generous person, one is for hajj, etc., etc. One is for fasting, right? Rayan, yeah. So if you say this after your wudu, Ashadu Allah, Ilaha illallah, Wahdahu la sharika, Allah Shadu Anna Muhammad Abdul Rasulu, right? You just need to add Wahdahu la sharika. What does it mean? He has no partners, right? Um, so it's like your tashahud, but just add this in with and the, the all eight gates of paradise will be open. You can enter from any one of them. But I said the problem is that a lot of people are just saying it without knowing the meaning. That means if you say this surely, right, you will be a better Muslim, isn't it true? In general, right? You don't be doing many evil deeds. That's what we are doing now. Okay. Questions before we close. So how to prevent ourselves from committing shirk? Firstly, knowledge. Seeking knowledge is absolutely important, brothers. And seeking knowledge is not like, okay, I'm being very honest with you, right? It's not like, okay, I have free time, then I come here to the mosque to seek knowledge. You make sure that you go to the mosque to seek knowledge. And this is what knowledge is all about. You agree? You, whatever things is not important. Seeking knowledge is the most important thing. You make that time free. Not because you are free, that's why you come to the mosque. Right, so very important to seek knowledge, especially Tawheed. Yeah, that if any one of us die in a state of shirk, what happened? Allah can never forgive. Allah will forgive any sins except for shirk, and it's very important that we protect ourselves from shirk. Right. Other than that, what else do we do? We uh, prevent ourselves from from committing shirk. Hmm? Yeah, the dua. Oh, but yeah, that that is important, but not not that important. What is after that? No, it is important, but not that important. No, guidance. We have to seek guidance from Allah, isn't it true? Because without Allah's guidance, we won't be here at all. So how do you seek guidance from Allah? Salah, I understand everything about Salah. When Allah says, Inna salata tanha an al fashay wan munka, the prayer will prevent immorality and disobedience to Allah. Surely it, it includes shirk, isn't it true? Because Allah will guide him whatever he wills. Again, most people, or many people, they don't understand what they are saying in their Salah. Yeah, that's why they continue to commit shirk in all this. Yeah? So guidance is very important. So Salah, other than that, how do you seek guidance from Allah? The Quran. There's no doubt about it. Guidance for those with who are taqwa. Other than that, the dua, of course. Yeah. So all these unique brothers, you have to look for guidance. It wouldn't come to you usually. Do you agree? You have to look, you have make have the effort. Who was that? Okay, not in this mosque, right? Remember now, Usama, we asked, how often you read the Quran? What is it? Once a month, is it? No, no, the Quran is what saying what once a month or once in two months, right? And that's completely wrong, yeah. 
and and very important yeah that we get the quran every day no excuse yeah next one seek protection of shaitan shaitan shirk is the number one is it true of shaitan's traps shirk is number one right so we need to seek protection in allah from shaitan how do we do that on the shaitan regime uh, being close to Allah what will prevent shaitan from coming to us yeah adkar the most the, the best one is la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika la lahul mulk wa lahul hawla wa kullu shay'in qadir how many times 100 times inshallah you be protected from shaitan for the whole morning wa nastafir la la na'lamu what does it mean follow Allah I seek refuge in you from committing shirk knowingly and I seek your from uh, I seek your forgiveness from things which I do not know about yeah so it is a dua very important that we need to say yeah other than that um I would control my intention right that means I would minimize exposing my deeds in social media agreed yeah because um, I'm, we are humans right we like to be praised yeah other than that um don't praise others don't praise others because when you praise others you are encouraging him to do it for for your sake to get more praise in general do you agree right so don't praise others not because what is the hadith when 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 somebody prays us what must you do throw that throw the thing at him is it true through the sand no you said it's right yes but it's also in the hadith you throw sand at the person's face because it, it makes you want to do things now for to gain more praise yeah, yeah? so don't yes. press others in order to help each other inshallah yeah as you said culture right make sure your culture must be within islam not islam is within your culture all right so change yeah? if your my culture is a lot of our culture a lot of shirik you know you know right even your king right the kraton all these uh, all the statues and all this i always when I was given talks to the uh, Indonesian embassy, I always tell them to remove all these uh, statues. That's why they never invite me now, right? So, right. Um, beware of our, as you say, companions. Very important, yeah, to be able to have good companions. It is absolutely important. You have to choose your companions, brothers, right? Yeah. If you're if you're not strong enough to help your companions, leave them. Right, then choose a better company. If you are strong enough, alhamdulillah, uh, do da'wah and join you to profit evil. Yeah, but if not, leave them because it's not worth it. Yeah, um, constant repentance to Allah. More importantly, remember we can die anytime, isn't it true? At any time, the worst thing you die instead of a shirk, yeah, by going to the grave, right, and you die there, subhanallah, right, that can come at any time. So, so don't ever think that okay, I'm not going to die today, right. That can come at any time, so you do need to really be very careful. Yeah. Um, okay. Any questions before we end? Yes. In Afghanistan, in Pakistan, in masjid, when you go to the masjid, in mosque, in front of Mera, on the right there is the name of Allah, on the left there is the name of Muhammad. Yeah. Now, in many places, like in many masjids, you see Ya yes. Allah. Yes. And some. Masjid, you can see Ya Muhammad, I think it's not. Yes, it is, yeah, it's a very good point, right? Brothers, do be careful when you say Ya Muhammad or Ya Rasulullah. Because the Prophet Muhammad can never answer our dua. Agreed? The, his only job, inshallah, inshallah, may Allah make us allow to us to meet him. Yeah. But his job, of course, is, is to intercede for us with Allah's will even, right? With Allah's permission, then he, he can intercede for us. So I heard, as you said, in the more some of the Imams doing, doing the uh, dua is Ya Rasulullah. And as you can't say that. Right? You have to be careful because it's far more shirk. Yeah. Um, so with the names, it depends on what is the intention. Yeah. yeah? But again, definitely know, know Ya Rasulullah. Only Ya Allah and Muhammad. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Because, 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 yes. because in general, can, can the dead hear us? No, in general. Is it true? Have we discussed many times. Yeah. Other questions? Yes. Sorry? Yeah, yeah, the, the tablet is neutral from the. Yeah, it's the same. 
well, they change it, of course, but that, 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 this is the same commandment, but just to change the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, last question, quiz question, Tariq. Uh, I, I'm going to ask a question, right, before we end. What is our Ten Commandments that are given? Which surah is this? No, is it it's specifically in the... What is it? Surah what? Surah number six. Okay, it's your homework. Verse number 151, 152, 153. These are our Ten Commandments. Yeah. Six, Al-An'am. Yeah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all from committing shirk. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us in the straight path. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us for our sins and transgressions. Guide those who need the guidance to be in the straight path. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help our brothers who are suffering in Libya, in Morocco, in Turkey, in all these places that have suffered calamities. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability to be generous to help them. Yeah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant Allah to forget our subhanahu wa ta'ala. We see each other inshallah on Saturday at 3 o'clock. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Are you fasting? You fasting is that? Yeah, yeah. So you got dates? I don't have dates, sorry. Are you fasting? No. No, I got dates for you. No, I'm not fasting. Is that? I'm not fasting. Because I didn't do my... So, so I'll give me this.